Caseworkers with the Lackawanna County Office of Youth and Family Services are facing criminal charges for allegedly leaving children in homes with deplorable conditions. A lawsuit in civil court says a mom in Lackawanna County had her child taken from her for no good reason. Both cases shine a light in how the county cares for its most vulnerable children. Action 16 investigates Stacy Lang explains how the mom is suing the attorney appointed to represent her child in the county's family court system. We're going to introduce you to Sarah Scotchless. She's the mother of a two year old girl. She lost custody of her daughter a year and a half ago. What happened back then is at the center of her lawsuit against her child's court appointed attorney called a guardian ad litem. Since the suit was filed in Lackawanna County Court in May, a gag order was placed on anyone involved in the case. We talked to Sarah before that gag order about the allegations she's making against the guardian ad litem. Yeah, I mean, I've missed her first steps, I missed her first words, I've missed so much. Sarah Scotchless of Dunmore lost custody of her daughter just five months after giving birth. She says because she was taking antibiotics. These antibiotics were very low. It was azithromycin, which is a ZPEC. And so they said because I was taking these antibiotics, I was a danger to my daughter. Sarah worked in the medical field. She studied to be a physician's assistant before she had her daughter. She took the antibiotics with an IV, with a prescription, and at the recommendation of her doctors to prevent passing her Lyme disease to the baby through breast milk. But Sarah says her doctor's recommendations didn't matter when her child's father filed an emergency petition for custody in November of 2021. Police reports show Dunmore police officers came to Sarah's home with a court order and removed the child. The courts granted temporary custody to the father and sealed the records. But Sarah isn't suing the father. She's suing Brenda Coble, the attorney appointed to represent her daughter. Coble serves as a guardian ad litem in many custody cases in Lackawanna County's family court. The lawsuit alleges that attorney Coble violated Sarah's civil rights since she still has not been able to defend her right to custody in a hearing that should have been held in November of 2021. You're still waiting? Still waiting, a year and a half. Sarah says she followed attorney Coble's recommendations to get her daughter back, including taking a hair follicle drug test. She shared those results with us, negative for illicit drugs. Just even being accused of harming your child in any way and not being given like that chance to defend yourself is really hard. It's really, really hard. I'd rather be in jail than have that. We contacted attorney Brenda Coble about the lawsuit against her over the course of a few weeks. She sent us to her attorney who has not called us back. This is not the first time parents involved in custody disputes have lodged complaints against the Lackawanna County family court system. A decade ago, complaints from parents led to a federal investigation. The head guardian ad litem at the time, Daniel Ross, was charged with tax fraud after parents accused her of excessively billing them for work she didn't do. Ross pled guilty and served time in federal prison. Brenda Coble was working as a guardian ad litem back then. She's now filled Ross's role and is the longest continually serving guardian ad litem in Lackawanna County. Following that investigation in 2012, the Administrative Office of Pennsylvania Courts issued 51 recommendations for Lackawanna County, and those 51 recommendations reveal just how little oversight guardian ad litems had before Ross's arrest. The state courts asked Lackawanna County to set clear guidelines for its guardians ad litem, more training and better ways to report income and track cases. All of the recommendations aimed to improve the accountability and efficiency of the family court system. It's unclear whether the county implemented any of these recommendations, and it's unclear whether improved oversight would have helped Sarah Scotchless. She may have her day in court as a plaintiff in her lawsuit against guardian ad litem Brenda Coble before she has the chance to go before a judge and defend her right to custody of her child. In the lawsuit, Sarah's attorney writes that they're seeking two things, punitive damages, and also to inform people in Lackawanna County of the potential danger Coble could cause as a guardian ad litem in other custody cases. Going through this, I just had, there had to be some positive, there had to be. So it's like, 
maybe, just maybe, I'm going through this so that I could help other people. Because somebody has to do something. Somebody has to be the first person that brings this up and brings this, this issue and this problem, even with the court system, to light. According to her lawsuit, Sarah tried last year to have Brenda Coble removed as the guardian ad litem in her custody case. After a hearing in front of a judge, that motion was denied. But Coble was removed from the case back in April after Sarah and her attorney filed the lawsuit against Coble. We reached out to the Lackawanna County Family Court Administrators. We wanted to know if the county took any of the recommendations from the state in 2012. Just in the past 24 hours, county court officials responded to our questions. They told us the suggestions made by the Administrative Office of Pennsylvania Courts concerned what county court officials called a, quote, defunct system that has not been utilized in over a decade. Stacey Lang, Action 16 Investigates.